I estimate that you're going to save at least three times the amount that you pay for the scan tool in just the next three years if you own more than one vehicle and get yourself a scan tool like this that offers lifetime updates. So in my hands I have the Mucar V08. So I'm really excited about trying it out and it comes with a bunch of extra adapters and I'm going to let you guys know what these adapters are for and if you really do need them. Hey everybody, welcome back to Random Fix. So in this video today, we're gonna to do a little bit of a deep dive into the V08. We're gonna talk about these adapters. But before we do that, if you guys like this kind of content, like saving money, learning about scan tools, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as well, as it's free and it really means a lot to me. So the V08 has got this new design here. And I think the V07 had this too. So wireless Bluetooth dongle. I'm gonna plug this into the vehicle and we're gonna be able to basically troubleshoot from this table. We're gonna do some pretty interesting things, including checking out the hardware, the 12 of one graphing, and then we're gonna check out the responsiveness. I'm gonna tell you guys what bi-directional scan tools do. And then we're gonna take a look at these included accessories and let you guys know if this is something that you guys really do need on a newer vehicle. So if you guys have never seen a video on this channel before, I don't give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I give you guys a score of 1 to 100, then you guys make the decision on if this is the right scan tool for you. So I got the dongle connected to the vehicle, and we're outside now, the ignition is on. And yes guys, this does have a kickstand. This is great for going around airbags. You can use it for the table here, which I am doing right now. So let's take a look at what exactly this scan tool entails. And so here's the home screen, and the best part about this is that this has lifetime updates. So if there's new updates available, I can just click this, download right away. And one of my favorite features of the Mucar brand is the sign-up process is zero to none. So I get it out of the box, turn it on, connect to the internet, and it starts working. And I wish all scan tools came like this. Talk about these other buttons, as this is gonna be a quick overview. We got intelligent diagnosis, maintenance, so this has over 34 recess available. And let's take a quick little look at this right now. So we can do things like air fuel ratio resets, ABS bleeding, add blue reset. This is for diesel vehicles. If your vehicle has one of the newer headlight systems, this can help you out. Air suspension, airbag reset, immobilizer. Basically, I can make a key. This particular key right here is a knockoff and I use a scan tool like this to make it. And you can get keys like this from $5 to about 50 bucks. Battery matching, this is for BMWs, Bentley, Mini Coopers. Brake pad reset, so if you have a newer vehicle with the rear parking brakes that are electronic, this would help. Clutch matching, DPF resets, that's for diesel vehicles. Water pumps, so basically if I had an electronic water pump, I could turn it on. A lot of cool, resets that are available here. And now we'll list the total number of resets that this supports. Really quick, as you're looking at this list here on the maintenance or reset functions, if you're thinking that this list is pretty cool and you can't wait to use all of these particular features, just know that these particular features are limited by the vehicle, it's not the scan tool. So if you happen to own a Mercedes Benz, you're not gonna see power balance. Power balance is a Ford thing. You won't see it on a Toyota either. So each make will limit what the scan tool can do. And depending on the make, the data that is displayed will actually look different. So on my Mercedes, all the data is nicely organized. It's not because of the scan tool, it's the vehicle. It got a recent update and this is all the new tips that it has available. Let's do this update. Okay, that update is happening. Okay, so 99% of the times I'm gonna use this intelligent diagnosis as this is what I need to basically do unless I'm gonna do a reset. Let's do a health report. And as a pro tip, if you ever do a big update, make sure you restart the scan tool as it'll save you a big headache. And additionally, always make sure that the voltage of the vehicle's battery is above 12 volts. You don't want to do troubleshooting, programming, coding, anything if this is below 12. This particular vehicle is pretty high right now at 14.55. And the reason for that is because this is a hybrid 
and it's currently on. So the ignition needs to be on or the engine needs to be on. And again, this is real time. So under one minute, the health scan is done. It scanned a total of 16 systems and it found zero diagnostic trouble codes. Now I can rescan it, clear them if I had any codes or I could do a report. Reports are really easy, I could share them. And I can also go back and now I can do a system selection. I'm gonna choose the engine. I'm gonna go to data streams here and this is the list of all the data fields that are available. So I can go through and select four or more. So now I've chosen a total of 12 different fields. Check that out. We can actually look at 12 different items here at the same time. And let's go and rev up the motor. Not much delay, which is perfect. And I can also combine this. When I hit combine, I can combine four graphs in one. So it's a very responsive scan tool. I'm in the engine control module. Let's try one of these bi-directional functions here. Let's go to actuation test. And now I can go through and choose what I want to do. So here's all the options that are available. And again, the car decides what actuation tests are available, not the scan tool. And I've tried a few of these, like the fuel cutoff, and this definitely works. And you could definitely feel it when the fuel is cut off from the vehicle, it basically stops running. And under special functions, here's what's available. And I could also do customized settings. So customized settings is advertised as ECU coding. And this is great for when you have an annoying seatbelt reminder that basically will turn on for obvious reasons such as something is in that seat. You could come through here and actually turn that off. You can program how long the lights stay on for. So on the door locks, I can go through and customize if I hit unlock twice, what it does. And right now I have it set to open all doors. So the first click will open the driver's side, second click will open all the doors. Hybrid system has different actuation test in the engine. So we could turn on the fan and this is going to be the cooling fan for the battery. Let's go listen to it now. And you can hear the fan is on at full speed. And whichever system you select, they all have their own special functions and also their own actuation tests. For example, on the body control module, here's the actuation tests. And here's the special functions. And I can always select OBD2. And OBD2 is useful. I can quickly find out if the check engine light is on or off, or if somebody's pulled the light bulb from the dashboard. And it lets me know that there's zero incomplete monitors. All the monitors that are needed to pass an inspection test are ready. And I can also engage in these other functions on OBD2. Really quick, so when you do a system selection, sometimes it's a back door to get to the service function that you want. So if you're trying to go through and access something and you know that the vehicle should be allowed to do it and it's not in the recess menu, always go through the OE side and select that system and you'll be surprised many times that's how you actually can service that particular component. All right, so let's take a look at what's inside this box. If you guys notice, this box is full. It's got all these cool adapters. Some of these adapters are going to be for Mercedes Benz. This one right here is for BMW. And I got to tell you guys, I've only used such adapters uh, at the shop working on vehicles that were a little older. So what I mean by this is most of the vehicles that we drive nowadays for the last 29 years, 
they have been OBD2, which is Onboard Diagnostics 2, which started in about 1996. We no longer really use these sort of ports. And there's exceptions to everything. For example, Mercedes still uses something like this on the C-Class as there's a connector like this behind the stereo. And it's needed to do some kind of special programming. And again, for that, you sometimes need a Mercedes start tool. And even though this can access the OE side, having something like this doesn't really have many benefits to the everyday consumer. If you have a vehicle that's older than 96, these might be the perfect adapters for you to go and find out what's wrong with your vehicle. These are for imports and domestic vehicles, and they're nice to have. I just haven't used them for a very long time. So just like you guys see it here, guys, I'm gonna keep this box in the same condition because, again, I don't see a big need for this right now. And if you guys are worried about charging this, just know that this has USB-C. And I honestly just use my Android charger for this and it works. Mm -hmm. Now let's take a look at this particular box. And this box came with the actual scan tool. And again, no need to activate or go through 10 hours of setup. I connected to my Wi-Fi, downloaded all the recent updates. There was a hundred and something of them available. They got done, no issues. And everything else flows smoothly and included in a packing list and the owner's manual, which again, is nice to have and the wireless Bluetooth dongle right there. And I did use this particular scan tool to clear ABS lights, airbag lights, check engine lights, and every single time it worked perfectly. However, just know that if you're buying a scan tool to get rid of a check engine light and you didn't fix the issue, the issue or the check engine light is gonna come back and you're gonna have to deal with it unless something was extreme. So for example, maybe you got bad gas from a brand new gas station that came into town, the weather was extreme and these kind of things do happen. So normally, whenever I'm dealing with an issue, I always look at the freeze frame data, I take a picture of it, I write it down, I clear it, and then I see if it comes back again. Wow guys, check out that sky. And if you're still watching the video at this point in time, I think that you are really looking for a scan tool, or you really like to find out about automotive repairs and some different ways of looking at things. So on the newer vehicles, I see a lot of mistakes being made because people start swapping out parts not to realize that the batteries on these vehicles are so important because the computer relies on them and when the vehicle is not running certain components get activated and triggered to go and perform tests and if the voltage is not right that particular actuator, motor, relay, whatever it is can't open up all the way and thinks that there's something wrong. And just because your vehicle starts doesn't mean that the battery is healthy. So I'll leave you guys a video down below on how to properly check your battery. And this is the very first step I take before I start changing anything. Trust me. Hey guys, so I tested the heck out of this particular Mucar V08. And honestly, the scan tool checks out. Now, just like every other scan tool that I've tested on this channel, Mucar sent this to me to test out. And as always, guys, I'm going to give you guys my honest feedback. In fact, I just made a video last week on the five things that scan tools can't do. And you guys should really check that out before you buy any scan tool as it's going to put things in perspective. And I think you're going to like the video. So let's talk about what I don't like about this particular scan tool. If you guys noticed, it didn't come with a case. May not seem like a big deal, but once you drop that scan tool and it gets all scratched up and you can't read the display, it becomes useless. Second thing is, I think you're paying a premium for those adapters, and those adapters are not needed by most people. I don't know of many people in my neighborhood that drive a vehicle between 1995 to 1974, because vehicles in that range, honestly, sucked. Those were horrible cars. 73 and older, cool cars. 
The other thing that about this particular tool is it doesn't have any sort of AI assistance. It's getting better and I think you can narrow down what the issue is. It's not going to get it 100% right, but it's going to help at least put you in the right direction. The other thing with this particular scan tool is there's a better version of it. The other version has everything that I talked about. Comes with that case, has the AI assistance, doesn't come with those adapters. It's cheaper. So I'll leave you guys a link to it. You guys will find it below. So let's talk about what I like about it. It's got lifetime updates. I like the hardware. I definitely like the camera because the other ones don't offer that. Now, is it going to be useful? It really depends if you're a shop. Yeah, it could be helpful. And I really do feel like if you buy a scan tool for four or 500 bucks, you're going to save triple that at least in the next three years by trying to do some of the very easy repairs yourself, or at least knowing what's wrong. So when you take it down to a mechanic, you're going to be able to let them know, hey, I think I need this based on this. And here's my part. How much will you charge me? That's the way I do my repairs. I hope that helps you guys out a little bit. There's a, a bunch of stuff that I can show you guys to save you guys money on repairs. If you guys want to make a video on how to get estimates and this stuff for free, let me know down below. And it doesn't seem like it, but it's actually getting dark. The sun is that way. Let me go ahead and sh turn the camera around for you guys. If anybody ever says that Texas is a desert, don't believe them. Texas is like this year round, just depending on where you live. I'm going to go ahead and give this a random fix score of 86 out of 100. And I'm going to display on the screen how I rated it so you guys can see it for yourself. Now, there's probably a bunch of stuff that I missed in this video. So if there is, please let me know what it is that's important to you so I can make sure to include it in the future videos. Additionally, I put a lot of time and effort into it. So do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up and sub to the channel as well. I'll leave you guys a coupon code for this particular scan tool. If you're interested, you'll find that down below and I'll display it on the screen here as well. And as always guys, make it a great day.